You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top. He's got the strong base. The grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position to get grounded by off. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Hill gets caught with that punch. Wow. Huge block there. Lands with the right hand. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. And it comes through with a big knee. Job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Agomedov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Agomedov gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by him. Right hand punch the clinch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice kick. Nice hook lands. Oh! Strong leg kick there by him. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Agomet. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful leg kick throws. Big shots being landed on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. That one is starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> So many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh! Back and forth we go. What a fight! Big kick land. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Hill's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh. Great punch. Well, DC, if you're a young striker, I would think Hill gets the takedown. 20 seconds left. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Horn sounds for the end of round one.
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round underway. Gil gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down. Oh, straight right. He's throwing everything. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. There's no give on that leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I didn't kick like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Mixes it up nicely. Positions and scrambles on the ground. High level scrappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. Oh! 